Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a little bit of the products that I use, the cheap products that I use actually, and I'm going to show you guys. Um, so this last part cut off, but I was going to say that I'm also going to show you guys products that I used to use and I'm going to compare them and also tell you guys what I like about the products I used to use and what I don't like about them and what I like about the products I use now and why I don't like them. So yeah, that's what you guys are going to see in the next few clips. Okay guys, so I'm going to be starting off with my lipsticks. These are all the lipsticks that I have and they are all cheap lipsticks. And I'm going to show you guys and go one by one. So I am going to start off by showing you guys the colors that I used to use back when I barely started doing makeup. And I'm going to show you guys that right now. The very first lipstick that I'm going to show you guys is going to be this one. It is um, Navi. Um, you can buy it at downtown here in McAllen where I live. Um, it is a China product, I believe. And this is in the, sh in the color. Um, it is red. Red. It is called Red Red. As you guys can see. And I'm going to show you guys how it looks. Okay, so this is the color Red Red. And this is a color that I used to use back when I barely started with makeup. I used to love using red. Now I usually don't really use red. But this is the color. This is how it looks. So this is the color, guys. It is. That's the color that I used to use when I barely started using makeup. And I didn't know that much about makeup. I would literally use red for everything. This color is in the shade Pink Rose, as you guys can see. And I'm going to show you guys how it looks right now. Like I said, when I recently started doing makeup, and I used to love using this color, this these colors really don't have that much the much anymore because i used to use it a lot back in the days and this is the color it's that one so these are so far the colors that i've swatched here's another color this one is in the shade palm plum wine oh my goodness i used to love this color a lot i don't know why but let me show you guys how it looks right now. So like I said, this was another color that I used to love. Um, it is like a wine color. But I don't know, I just loved it so much. I used to love this color a lot, guys. It's this one. Back in the days, I, did, I only used mascara and lipstick. And once in a while, I used to use blush, but not that much. But since I just used mascara and lipstick when I would use this color, oh my goodness, I loved using it. And that's the color. So, so far, these are the three colors. Okay, guys, so this is another color that I really loved. This is um, Plum. And I don't know why I love this color, too. It doesn't have that much product because I used to use it a lot, too. So like I just mentioned right now, this is another color that I really used to love back in the days. Again like i already repeated myself when i used to only wear mascara and lipstick this is one of the colors that i would wear and that's the color okay guys so these are so far the four colors that i have swatched um i did mess it up a little bit right there but these are the four colors that i have swapped um they look pretty old because like i said i used to use this um when i wouldn't even do makeup on myself i would only use lipstick and mascara and yeah and that was about it um i started using makeup actually until i got married which was when i was already 20 years old and i'm 21 so it hasn't been a long has it hasn't been long since i started using makeup so these are the lipsticks that i would use when i would only use mascara and lipstick before i got married to school or like just to go to church and those are the type of colors that i used to love using now i really don't wear them but I just wanted to show you guys. Um, these are very affordable actually. We, I find them at a store near McAllen where I live. And they are probably like 150 I think. And if I ever go back there, I'll probably buy some again. But yeah, these are the lipsticks that I used to use. And these are how they look. I used to love them. I don't wear them anymore, but I mean, they're still nice. 
I used to wear those type of red lipsticks. Um, I bought this lipstick too because I thought it looked nude. That's when nude started coming out a lot. Like I started seeing people wearing nude a lot. So I decided that I wanted to buy myself a nude color. But I just didn't like this one. So this color is basically new. I only used it one time and I didn't like it. So I'm just going to show it to you guys. Like I said, this is pretty affordable. Ew, excuse my nail. So like I just mentioned, I really don't use this color. I never used it only once and I didn't like it the way it looked on me. But I just thought I swatched it just so you guys can see how it looks. Maybe some of you guys will like it, but I don't like it. So that's the color right here. Okay guys, so this is the color right there that I just swatched. Um, like I said, I really didn't like it. But that's how it looks. Okay guys, so those are the four um, lipsticks that I have bought um, or that I used to buy. And I have probably two, three years, probably a little bit more with these lipsticks. And they are still pretty good, guys. They are matte. So after a while, they do dry. And I'm going to try to show you guys. Okay guys, now. so when I started getting a little bit more involved into doing makeup, I wanted to look for some lipsticks that I would actually like. And I got involved into the Elf lipsticks. I wanted to look for lipsticks that were actually like nicer, and lipsticks that I know I know I know that I will love and that they will last, and something affordable, of course. And I found the Elf lipsticks, guys. These lipsticks are pretty affordable. They're five bucks. You can find them at any drugstore like Walmart and that. And these were my two favorite lipsticks. Of course, you guys can see this was my all-time favorite lipstick. I haven't found them anymore they're very hard to find i don't know why but i haven't found it but if i get to find another one of this one i would buy it all over again guys because i love it this is the lipsticks these are the lipsticks that i started using for all my makeup looks but this is the one that i would use the most so this one is going is blushing rose and then this one over here is tea rose so yeah, these are both. I'm going to swatch them right now. I hope I can get some of this one because this one is pretty empty already. But I'll try to get as much as I can. I'll show them to you guys right now. Okay, so I'm going to be swatching T-Rose first. Let's swatch it. Okay guys, so this one I like. I, like, I forgot to show you guys, but I really like this like the way the way this little thing is to like put it on your lips i really like it i don't know i just love it so it's right there so this one that i just watched it's tea rose um it's kind of like a purplish color but i think you can't really see it because it's not in person but it's that one right there i'll show you guys the next one right now Okay guys, so the next one is um, Blushing Rose, which is the one that I tell you guys that is my all-time favorite lipstick. I haven't found this one, but I'm going to try to look for it online because at the Walmart near my house, I couldn't find it. But this is my favorite, guys. This is the one that I started using when doing makeup looks. And I'm going to try to see if I can get some of it because there's really not much of it. But let me check what I can get. It kind of looks like the tea rose but this one's a little bit like more nude and nicer i don't know i like it so if you guys can see it kind of looks the same but i'm going to show you guys from close up that it's not the same okay guys so i decided to show you guys with um the flash um excuse this right there that it kind of messed up but the ones that i just watched are the two last ones the this one right there which is the second to the last that one is tea rose and the last one is blushing rose that's my all-time favorite lipstick up to right now but i haven't found one that is like that one so that's why i haven't really used it lately in my makeup looks i haven't done lipstick um not in my makeup looks i mean like when i do my makeup i haven't pulled on lipstick because i haven't been able to find that lipstick but if i try to find a similar one i'll try to look for it but yeah maybe you guys don't like it but i really like it so yeah guys that was um those two lipsticks right there um they're from elf and they're super affordable they're like five bucks at any drugstore but this one i haven't been able to find it but you guys can find it online i think if i find it well I'll look for it but yeah so 
this goes to the other collection over here so lately i've seen girls do their makeup and i've seen them use like a brownish color for their lipstick and i hadn't been able to find like a brownish color and recently i found these two colors from beauty creations they're kind of like um, a brownish color i did get in the shade mocha and in the shade unforgettable i think it's unforgettable yeah so these two are the lipsticks and i haven't really tried them on with any makeup look i haven't used it to go out or anything i recently bought it so they are new this one i bought it downtown too and they're super affordable they're like two dollars i think or three dollars i'm not sure but i'm gonna swatch them right now so you guys can see it and yeah okay guys so i'm, I'm about to swatch um, mocha first and i'm gonna swatch it here in my hand in my arm i mean this one is like an orangey brownish color um right here right now i'll show you guys from close up excuse this box by the way guys um this is a box <laughs> that they gave me and i have it here that's where i keep some of the makeup that i don't use anymore so the next one is going to be unforgettable i'm gonna swatch it right now I'm not the best of swat at swatching guys so if it doesn't look good i'm sorry but right there i'll show you guys from close up right now okay guys so the last two were this one which were mocha and unforgettable and um that's how they look when i saw them i liked them but i haven't worn them to go out but yeah like i said these are super affordable and i haven't used them they're brand new but i think i'm gonna start using them i kind of like them but yeah, this goes back to my collection. So these are the only lipsticks I have for now, guys. I do want to start buying more lipsticks because um, sometimes I do makeup look and I feel like some of these lipsticks don't look good with that makeup look. So I want to have like different colors. And yeah. So that was it for all my lipsticks, guys. Um, you guys can see, I know maybe I'm not that good at swatching. But these are the colors of my lipsticks. And I hope you guys um like them and if you guys if you guys have any questions just let me know okay guys so next i'm going to be showing you guys my collection of eyeliners i really don't use eyeliner guys um not even in high school would i use eyeliner like i said i didn't start using most of my makeup until after i got married so these eyeliners um i started using them until i was 20 which was like a year ago or two years ago when i got married guys so I'm just going to show you guys a little bit of my eyeliners. Um, they are all super affordable. Um, yeah, I'll show you guys right now. Okay, guys. So the first one is the Wet n Wild um, Waterproof Eyeliner. This one is probably not new anymore. But this is how it looks. Um, that's the little point. I really don't like it when points are that thick. Because I don't know how to use eyeliner that good. So it having a thick point like that makes my eyeliner look thick i don't know but i used to use this eyeliner i haven't used it anymore but this is the eyeliner from wet n wild okay so the next one is the wet n wild mega liner liquid eyeliner and this is how it looks and i haven't used this eyeliner in a while but i think this eyeliner doesn't have that anymore that much anymore i think it's kind of dry already because i haven't used it in a while but i'm gonna show you guys how it looks Okay, so I made a mess already, but this eyeliner is already dry. I should already throw it away, but I just wanted to show you guys. This is how the point looks. This is probably how I like my eyeliners with this very thin, oh, uh, sorry, with this very thin right here. This is how I like my eyeliners. I don't know about you guys, but this makes it easier for me to do my eyeliners. So this is how it looks, and this is already dry, by the way okay guys so next is the navi liquid eyeliner this one i bought it not long ago but i haven't used it um i think i only used it like twice but i'm gonna show you guys how it looks so i don't like this point either i only used it for a while and then i stopped using it because i don't like how this point looks the next eyeliners that i'm going to go with is the sleek pro eyeliner i obviously have two because First, I bought this one, and I really liked the way this eyeliner was. I don't know. I st this was my favorite for a while. Um, this one, I bought it in the McAllen store, too. And I really liked it, and this one finished. So then I bought a new one, 
which is this one but then i started using it for a while and i didn't like it at first when i started using this eyeliner it was because i started doing makeup and i really didn't know about eyeliners but then when i started noticing that this point was very thick that's when i decided that i didn't like it but in the beginning it was my favorite so that's why i have two of them because this one finished and i bought a new one the next ones are this ones they're obviously um the same form and everything but they are different brand um this one's from city color and this one's from i don't know from oakland oakland something like that and this is how the eyeliners look and i'll show them to you guys right now okay so from these two eyeliners um this is probably my favorite one um from this two because this one has a thin this is the way i like my eyeliners um this is how small this is probably my favorite type of point i love this that looks so perfect so i think this is probably the eyeliner that i'm gonna start buying um so yeah this is the eyeliner okay i'll close it right now okay so now i'm gonna show you guys this one and i really don't like this point i mean it's all right it's not that bad but it's a little thicker than the other one but i mean i would still use it it still looks okay so this is the eyeliner um sometimes i just buy makeup to buy well not to buy but to try it out and if i don't like it well then i know i won't buy it but this one's all right i mean it's okay but so far i like this one okay and this one's are um, this is from City Color and this is from Navi, but this ones are probably the liners that I've using lately. These are, um, well this one is, um, an eyeliner pen. I really like the way it looks. Let me show it to you. This one is super thick, but I like the way it looks like a pencil. Um, lately I've been using, oh, my nails are so ugly. Lately I've been using this one just to make like the line of my eyeliner and i've been using the one that i showed you guys over here to do the the wing the wing that um yeah and this is what i use to do the line like just the inside line of the eyeliner and then this is another eyeliner i'm gonna show it to you guys this is also the pen type of liner but this is thinner so i like this one it's thinner um yeah so these are the same the only difference is the one is thinner and one is thicker and yeah but i like both of them actually or just to use the, the inside line so yeah guys these are the eyeliners that i've had or i have but lately this is the eyeliner that i've been using this one and either one of these pen liners so these are the ones that i have been using lately yeah so that was it for my eyeliner collection guys i don't have that much like so many makeup artists have but i do have a few and they are all very affordable eyeliners super affordable actually eyeliners and yeah if you guys have a better eyeliner to recommend please leave it in the comments i would i would really love to know because eyeliners are very hard to find i really want a matte type of liner and if you guys show me which eyeliner is good i will stop using this ones and throw them all to the trash okay guys so my next collection to show you guys is my concealers okay guys so this is pretty funny how when i saw this concealer is from beauty treats by the way i found it at that mckellen store downtown too when i saw this concealer for the very first time i was barely starting makeup and i saw it and i was like oh my goodness this is so cool it has liquid and it has a stick concealer and i thought it was pretty cool this is probably like 250 it's very affordable and when i saw it for the very first time i was like oh gosh this is so cute i got it in the tone um zero four so yeah i liked it very much that went but i used this the most so when this um the stick finished um i bought a second one which is right here and then something happened so okay so i had this too i bought a different shade um this one's in the zero two but when i bought this second one you guys can see that it's almost new I bought a second one because i really love this one but then um 
this one is new like i told you guys right now um and it's very new because that's when i bumped into this concealer right here um this concealer is almost empty because when i saw it i loved it this is in the shade light beige but this is funny because this one on aunt gave it to me so when she gave it to me um i really loved it and i was like oh my goodness what type of concealer is this so i didn't even know what brand it was so then i had to search up light beige in google and like everything you guys see right here i searched it up and when i searched it up it came out that it was from elf because at first i didn't know if this was a lipstick or if this was a concealer because it didn't say anything so then i searched it up and it came out that this was from elf so new one and i found it um like you guys can see it is um from elf and i found it guys i found it at walmart and i was so excited to try it so yeah it's, it is light beige and i found it at walmart guys so i bought a second one because i was super excited that i love this one so then i bought a second one but as you guys can see that i hardly use it and that's because i bumped into another concealer um when i was going to walmart to buy this one i bumped into this elf concealer and i was like okay so which one should i buy should i buy this one or this one so i decided to buy both so i could try them out and i ended up loving this one that i stopped using this one so when i love this one so much um this was in the shade light i love this so much guys i highly recommend it i still love it um i love this so much that i went on and i bought a second one so i love this so much that i went on and i bought a third one and i stopped i i would use this one a lot like a lot and one time i decided to go to hev or walmart no it was hev and i bought the fit me concealer because i saw everybody using it and i was like oh my goodness that concealer looks real nice by the way excuse this guys i'm very dirty with my makeup but i saw this one guys this one is pretty affordable but nothing compared to this one this ones are probably three dollars this ones are two dollars and this ones are like two dollars so when i bumped into this one this one's probably like nine bucks i don't know i'm not sure but i bumped into this one guys and i love this one but when i bought when i bought this one i bought this one at the same time just to try both of them and i'm gonna tell you guys this ones are my all-time favorite concealers for now probably this one is this three are my favorite but so far i'm only using both of this but i use this one to conceal my eyebrows and i use this one for my eyeshadow but yes guys i highly recommend these concealers they are my favorite um and the maybelline fit me concealer i use um 10 in shade fair clear 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 fair clear and this one i use this one this one is I, this one is in the shade light so it's also from maybelline so yeah guys these are the two concealers that i love this one is a concealer that i would just want i just thought i showed you guys um this is from l'oreal um my mom gave it to me it's in the shade medium the only reason why i didn't use this one was because it's in the shade medium i didn't really like the way the shade was but the coverage is pretty good so that's the reason why i liked i wanted to show you guys because this is pretty good also like i said guys these are my all-time um concealers well these are my concealers that i have used and this three this three right here are my were my all-time but this was my favorite then this two are my favorite now these are the ones i actually use but these three are my favorite so yeah guys these are all the concealers that i have used or i'm using um i went from this to this this well this one i don't use it right now but I went from this to this and right now these are my three favorite concealers but I obviously only use both of this. So if you guys have a better concealer, um, do put it in the comments so you guys can give me an idea or if you guys think that there's a better concealer then comment it so I can try it out. Okay guys so now I'm moving forward with my um, eyebrows. I want to tell you guys something pretty funny. Um, I did start doing my eyebrows using this little eyebrow compact kit that I got from that store downtown. Um, and I'm going to show you guys how it looks from the inside. In high school, guys, like I told you guys, I would only do um, my mascara and my lipstick. But I did start trying out doing my eyebrows with this little kit um, here. 
it was like a brownish like a light brownish and this was like a dark brownish but this were in powder guys and this one was in like um i don't know what that is like pomade or i don't know what that is but i used to use this little kit and the only reason why i don't throw it away is because this kit reminds me of when i started doing my eyebrows it's pretty funny <laughs> because i love these little things and when i tried going back to that store to find this little kit i couldn't find it but my eyebrows were super ugly by the way guys i didn't know how to do them i mean not that right now i know how to do them good i still need practice but this was horrible when i used to use this little kit but i mean i was starting off sometimes why well, did i think i did started using this black and then i moved on to a light brown that i had here and then i moved on to a, i think a medium brown or dark brown i don't remember but this was pretty cute this little compact kit is pretty small look the size of my hand okay so then when i started um actually doing makeup again um i got this little city color eyebrow kit and i got so excited because this little kit had some tweezers and as you guys can see this color is the one that you guys see that is um the most used that's because when i used to do my eyebrows with this kit i would use this brown a lot so this is the brown that i used to use i actually when I finished this little kit right here, it was hard to find a color that matched the color that I used to use here. So this was the only one that was close in that color. So I started using this little one. And then after that, that's when I got, I started to say, you know what, I'm going to try using the pomade. So that's when I moved on to the Cara Beauty pomade. And I used it in the soft brown. And this is how it looks from the inside, guys. It kind of has glitter now that I'm looking at it. But this was the color i stopped using this color because this thing got super hard if you guys can see it got super hard i even put my hand there and i hardly get any on my finger it got super hard and i didn't know how to make this work again but to be honest i love this this pomade i loved it so much and yes this was the pomade that i used to use i started using this one this one doesn't even have anything guys because this is pretty funny this one looks really old because i got this one before i got the cara beauty but when i got this one this one was actually um like an eyebrow kit it came with um an eyebrow brush and when i got it i just bought it to buy it i really didn't never used it until i saw that this one got hard i was like you know what i'm gonna move on to this one so this was the one that i started using and this was the one that i actually stopped using like like recently like recently like probably like two or three weeks ago not even weeks ago probably like a month ago this was the last one that i stopped using but let me show you guys from the inside so you guys can see that i actually used this one till it finished so yeah guys i really love this one look at it i actually finished all of it and sometimes when i do my makeup i still grab some from like the corners right there guys i never found these colors again when i went back to the store but i want to find um some eyebrow pomade that look, are close in these colors i have seen the anastasia ones and i heard good reviews about them but if you guys think the anastasia ones are pretty good and if you guys think that i should try it let me know and tell me which color should i use that is close in these colors this one is a sub brown and i think this one was a medium brown it doesn't say but i think this one was a medium brown but when this one's finished guys my life was so sad so then i just decided to go on and i bought the elf and i thought the elf was close in color but when i try this one this is the one that i use now but i don't like it guys when i try this one um this one looks like a grayish color when i do my eyebrows guys inside it looked good but when i came out to the light this looks like a great color and i don't like it at all maybe i didn't get the right color um i don't remember what shade it was oh yeah this is in the shade medium brown but this looks nothing like medium brown but this is the one that i'm using right now but if you guys have a better um eyebrow pomade that you guys recommend tell me guys in the comments so yeah guys this this is from what, what i went through and i'm still not satisfied with any of this um the only ones that i loved were this two but like i tell you guys i can't find any that are similar to this ones so this one is the one that i'm using right now but i don't like the color because it makes my eyebrows look gray outside but if you guys have recommendations on what colors do you guys think that are close to these colors 
and put down in the comments guys give me ideas because I'm currently looking for some eyebrow pomade that are better than this one if not guys I don't know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna have to stick to this one but yeah guys these are the products that I used to use or that I use right now and yeah the Cara Beauty is great guys if I can't find a better eyebrow pomade I'll probably order this from online Okay guys, so that was it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to comment and subscribe to my channel and also guys turn on your notifications and yeah guys that was it. Um I did um I hope you guys enjoyed watching how I started with my makeup products and how what I'm using right now. And if you guys have better recommendations, like comment down in the comments and give me better ideas or suggestions of what I should use instead of what I'm using right now so that was it guys and i don't use um very expensive products they're very affordable if you guys have any questions just ask me and yeah guys i hope you guys liked it